Now, you may recall some months ago, goodness me, it was a long time ago, uh, LBC and that this show actually was very much in the vanguard of trying to get justice for people who are trapped in these houses or apartments I should say with cladding it's it's thought around three million people are affected by this well homeowners stuck in these flats that could either are worthless or of course could be fire traps could she see their insurance claims paid by the state in an attempt to try and stop spiraling costs ministers are facing calls to step in to fix the market after insurance premiums have soared by a total of 1.6 billion this is, of course, as a bit of a budget. I say again, I say again, the budget just around the corner. It is hope that there is some hope, there is some help on their way uh, for people who are stuck in this. Liam Spender is a campaigner with End Our Cladding Scandal, which does what it says these days on the tin. Uh, OK, these two ideas as regards insurance and as regards financial aid. Where are you on those, Mr Spender? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Um, I mean, on, on the financial aid, the reports over the weekend about a potential five billion package, it's welcome, but the estimated costs are 15 billion. Mm. So wh where is the rest going to come from? And there's obviously uncertainty about whether the government's going to force leaseholders to take loans to pay for others' mistakes. Do you think and you've done enough lobbying, you and your colleagues? Do you, do, you, do you think you're at least being heard by the Chancellor and those who need to hear you, Mr Spender? I think in the last couple of weeks there's been a sea change in uh, in the amount of coverage it's getting. I mean, obviously we're all, we're all grateful to LBC and others in the media who pushed it. Well, I think the Daily Mail have got the bit between the teeth as well now, haven't they? Absolutely, yes. They've been running a very good campaign. And the idea of the insurance, I mean, again, the key issue, of course, is to strip this down cladding, then you're all going to be safe anyway, and you don't need people wandering around, what is it, walking watches and things such as that. But this idea of insurance, Liam, where are you on that? Uh, it's, it's welcome the government's trying to do something about it. The issue, though, isn't isn't what the insurers are doing. That's that's one thing which is bad enough. The issue is that the government's retrospectively applying new building regulations to existing buildings, regulations that existing buildings have no prospect of meeting. So instead of accepting there are, there's a limit to what you can do to a building that's already standing, uh, they're trying to adopt a, a, a zero-risk solution instead of saying, well, what level of risk and what level of cost are we prepared to take for this issue? Good luck. We'll talk again. We'll try and keep the pressure going, particularly as we approach closer to the budget around three weeks away. It's the early days of March. Liam Spender, thank you. Campaigner with End Our Cladding Scandal.